Here in Texas, we already have laws similar to the one that passed in Indiana, but other bills are currently going through the legislature, including a much broader religious protection constitutional amendment. KXAN's Phil Prazen has more on how the fight in Indiana can turn into a fight here at home. Bill Hammond from the Texas Association of Business looks at the backlash in Indiana and fears Texas could see the same should a broader constitutional amendment here become law. Well, I mean, I think it's a cautionary tale for the Texas legislature. He doesn't want anything getting in the way of Texas's business-friendly environment. This is not what Texas is about. Texas is a welcoming state. We want new business to come. We want new people to move here. A few conservative lawmakers look at the blowback from Indiana as a left-leaning political movement, and they filed bills here at the Capitol to defend the traditional marriage beliefs of many Texans. We see again this, this political effort, which uses, in many cases, federal courts to pursue this agenda. A staunch advocate of marriage between one man and one woman, Representative Cecil Bell filed his conscientious objector bill. It would put a law on the books to defend private citizens and government employees who refuse service based on religious beliefs. Bell admits he knows of nobody who's refused to do business with someone based on religion. Instead, he filed his bill in response to the growing effort to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. That puts citizens in my district concerned that if that is the outcome here, uh, that, that we want to be in a position where we have a defense against those kinds of over. With a Supreme Court decision this summer, this conversation isn't going away anytime soon. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. So far, none of the religious protection bills have received a public hearing, a mandatory step to a bill becoming law in Texas. This is not Texas' first religious-based law. Most have to do with schools. In 2013, lawmakers passed what's called the Merry Christmas Law. It removes legal risks from exchanging holiday greetings related to Christmas and Hanukkah in public schools. Another has to do with praying in public schools. Texas law allows students to voluntarily pray or meditate in public as long as it does not disrupt classes or other school activities. Another allows for a moment of silence. Texas law allows schools to have a moment of silence at the beginning of each day.